The recovery from last October's flooding is far from finished, and for some, it hasn't even started. News to investigator Brad Franco is getting answers from a family in Somerville still living with the devastation. We have not gotten a dime from FEMA to repair the house or fix anything. Mike and Peggy Shaw survived last October's flooding, evacuated by boat as the Ashley River consumed their cul-de-sac in the Ashboro neighborhood. But nearly five months later, the doors inside their mold-ridden home don't open. That's the way out the door, sorry. And space heaters keep the shawls warm on cold winter nights. All right, we can walk around this way. This picnic table was underwater. You could not see the table. Outside, the swamped air conditioning units rest where they settled on the side of the house. Shaw says the pier columns underneath the home also shifted. Dylan. To fix everything, contractors quoted at least $130,000. And until we started asking questions, flood insurance, backed by FEMA, only offered them $3,200. 39 years of paying. Yep, 39 years paying flood insurance, and then we have a flood and call the insurance company and FEMA and they say go take out a small business loan. A FEMA inspector will contact you in seven and ten days. We will intervene and we will assure that they are getting the correct answer and they're getting every dollar that they're entitled to under their policy. The I team spoke to FEMA flood insurance director Roy Wright last October when victims first voiced their fears about dealing with the agency. He assured us at that point, despite the underpayment problems that plagued victims following Superstorm Sandy in New York and New Jersey, it wouldn't happen here. We have the right kind of quality control elements in place, but fundamentally I have confidence in the system we have in place to ensure the oversight in South Carolina so that people are paid properly. Wright's assurance rings hollow for the shawl. I've been worried about Peggy. She's getting kind of sick. Peggy is fighting a fungal lung infection, and thankfully, their medical insurance covers most of the $9,000 for the medication. They've hired an attorney to try and help them get what they believe is covered by their policy. I don't understand why they won't cover it. I reached out to FEMA to get a better idea of why the Shawls are having such a hard time getting what they think they should based on their policy. Well, now attorneys are involved, and FEMA reps said they can't say a whole lot. They did email me this statement that says FEMA cannot make survivors whole again after a disaster, but we can get them back on their feet. Thousands of South Carolinians have successfully relied on flood insurance to protect themselves financially after this disaster and get back on the road to recovery. Well, since we started asking questions, FEMA increased that insurance reimbursement to about $30,000, noting they can always resubmit as the work goes along. Their attorney says it could wind up taking years to get everything paid for. Brad Franco, News 2. All right, Brad, great report. If you have something you want us to investigate, send an email to iteam at wcbd.com. You can also call the iteam hotline at 843-216-4949.